Something's Brewing is sponsored by Willimantic Brewing Company. Something's Brewing takes us to Groton. You know this name, Beard Brewing Company just opened their second location. It has been a year in the making and they've been open now for two weeks and they have some new beers to go along with it. Joining us now, owner of Beard Brewing Company, Aaron Simoncini. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here today. <laughs> Thank you. So, you guys have opened up this beautiful spot in Groton, a totally different vibe from your Stonington location. Absolutely. I wanted to do something here in Groton, not only to serve more people, mm -hmm. but to do something that I haven't seen out there. So, it took a while to come up to, with the concept and kind of put it together over a year to actually build the tap room, the public space here. Wow. But uh, we're finally there. There's just a couple more fit and finish items that need to go up and we'll be done. Well, you just uh, had your grand opening two weeks ago and it's been going well people yeah. I mean your name's out there and it's been out there and people know that they're gonna get some good beer <laughs> with you guys absolutely yeah consistency is key we want to make sure that we're making the best possible beer being innovative and being able to get it out to everyone so we built the second brewery mm -hmm. uh, it more than doubled our capacity so are you brewing here too yes absolutely uh, we installed another brew house it's a DME 20 barrel system and last year we finished the year brewing about 6,500 barrels of beer Wow all right so let's get into it your double IPA dogs and boats certainly this one wasn't intended to be our flagship but it is at this point for all intents and purposes our flagship uh, we package about 600 cases of it every Monday and it seems to be gone by Friday every wow. week the next one Hobbit juice another double IPA Hobbit juice has been around for a long time it's a bit of a cult classic we can't really get enough of the raw goods the Nelson Sauvin uh, hops to brew enough of it to get out there in a big way but we brew it on a regular basis in Stonington smaller batches to keep it fresh how is that different so that one features the Nelson Sauvin hop. Hops are kind of like wine where they have terroir, so where they're grown gives different flavor profiles. And that one in particular has a nice like white wine, vinous kind of character coming through, as opposed to the more citrus kind of fruity forward sure. uh, dogs and boats. The third is a Pilsner. Absolutely. So Connecticut Casual is brewed to be crisp and clean, mm -hmm. uh, kind of in a world that's a little hazy, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, it's nice to have a little reprieve from that, uh, constantly drinking IPAs and stouts and very heavy flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, so our guys love brewing it. It's a labor of love because it takes about six weeks to turn a batch, so we can't do it as much as we'd like to, mm -hmm. but it's gaining a lot of steam. And last but not least, you have an American Pale Ale. Yeah, Kittens and Canoes is an American pale ale, uh, decidedly hazy. It features that same Nelson Sauvin hop, so you're going to get some of those vinous kind of white wine characters, but we pair it with Citra, and that's going to give you a little more fruit-forward tropical note as well. It's very soft on the palate, easy drinking. And I have to ask, how are you coming up with all these names? <laughs> <laughs> Naming beers is the hardest part. I can write recipes like it's my job, because uh -huh. it is my job, uh, but it seems like everything is always taken. We, in, in fact, so much so that we have a beer called Already Taken. So Aaron, you have a can release Absolutely. coming up. Stave Toasty uh, is a collaboration brewed with Six Point, mm -hmm. and we barrel aged it in some maple syrup barrels, so it's picked up some of that character as well. So we got a double bang for our buck on that collaboration. And how long in the tank? Uh, so or in it, the barrels, Yeah, in say? the barrels, <laughs> I would say, I think it was about five months, so it picked up some nice maple and uh, bourbon characters as well. Great, so people can come pick that up on what, the 7th? I believe it's February 7th. 7th. Yeah, yep. February 7th. At the Stonington in location. In Stonington, not here in Groton. Okay, so you'll have to travel to Stonington, but it's worth it, right? Definitely worth it. <laughs> okay, well, we have the crew here, Fantastic. the Beard crew, so thank you guys. Thanks for being here All today. All right, well, congratulations. Cheers. All right, cheers to that. Something's Bruna, Beard Brewing Company. Cheers.